right? Thanks. Enjoy. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News present. Hello and welcome to Thor News' super silly summer rock and roll weekend. Kicked a lot of ass in a year and a half. Now I'm taking a weekend off to have a little fun. One of the things I like to do for fun is make videos. Yeah, I know crazy, huh? Rock and roll! Heck yeah. So yeah, hey look, there's the sun. So I've noted, hey, this double peaked minimal solar maximum that is max dipated is weird. Getting weirder. The sun isn't like a light bulb or a stove or a microwave where it just stays on one temperature the whole time. Sun changes, man. The sun has moods. Sun changes, man. It's up and it's down, it's fat and it's skinny. It's happy, it's sad, lonely, it's overcrowded. And it misses Earth things a lot. And now that uh, the world is moving to more of a geocentric mindset, the sun's gonna get even less attention now. You know what, the sun's cool, man. Like, I wouldn't have been born without it. You wouldn't have been born without it. On Earth, it keeps the cool parts cool and the hot parts hot. And it's free. Asterisk, I'm pretty sure if I went through my phone bill under all the surcharges, there might be some sun tax in there somewhere. Or maybe I'm a cigarette. Maybe just in tax tax. Who knows? Do you know anybody who's read the like 82,000 page tax code book? I'm not aware of anyone. I hear it's a very boring read. It's so wonky. Even wonks are like, I'll never finish this. Not even if I read 10 chapters on the shitter every time I take a shit. Wait, does the tax code have chapters? No, it's just got codes, man. Tax codes. Like video game cheats. Different? Talking about the sun, and no. Yeah, it's talking about the sun. The sun played a large part in Raiders of the Lost Ark. And without the sun, you would not have beer, boobies, good friends, good times. So the sun is cool. And it don't stay the same. Plus, it interacts with clouds. We are watching the sun, and it is doing amazing things. Look at the, like, lightning on the sun, or the chain fields of lightning on the sun. Hey, look, a flaming triangle, lots of debris, or frozen protons, or putting out, d d what the, fudge cracking parsley puppets? Yep, that wacky sun. It's all silly and rock and roll. Here comes the, wow. Hell yeah, that is 4th of July fireworks show if I've ever seen one. Okay, so the sun kind of looks like Frankenstein. I'm saying that because it's got scars on its face. I mean, isn't there a chance the sun could, like, for lack of a better metaphor, blow its wide one shot? I'm just asking a question. I'm not... Wow. The shot heard round the solar system. Looks like a butterfly. And that shot, and some of these of you, my special filters. Wee! Sean, the sun sure likes circles. I like circles, too. That's almost like eight boobs. That would be four wives. I mean, four girlfriends. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yep. Man, one of those coronal mass ejections or filament rips went straight up. You don't see that too often. It was kind of a creepy star double take back. No whammies. No whammies. Sun diver. And there's a lot of crap in space. Mother Earth keeping us safe. Yeah, sun's pointing up at something. Wow, that is pretty neat. Looks like boobs though, man. I gotta say it. Sunset sure have been pretty. Hey Pluto, what are you doing way up there? Go back down here. Thirteen. Tran Neptunian Funk. Birth funk. E 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 birth funk down the road. Mesmerizing. Tantalizing. That rock or yogurted proton it was big. That circle bat thing is cool, man. Hey the V's back. Kinda. I know here uh, there might be new evidence, which means Pluto regains its plat status. This is neat and tricky. That is an unverifiable observation. Trippy. Very pretty. Yep, V's back. And the sun's flaming. In space is super crowded, yet vast and empty at the same time. What? I don't know, man. It is Saturday of... Okay. Little tiny holes aren't usually active, but they are always very interesting. Here comes the sun. WTF, man. The V's back. There you go, there's the V. V into peanut. 
Oh, okay, I see it now. Right, rock and roll, let's do some amazing things. That's cool. Hey, there's a little dot there, too. Spinning flying V. That look like an arrowhead. That look like an arrowhead. That's pretty amazing. That's so cool. And not only is the sun cool, it is good friends with clouds. I'm pretty sure it's Cloud's daddy. Their granddad, if you want to get down to it. And clouds do crazy stuff. You will always be able to look into the clouds and see things that make your imagination marvel. I mean, we definitely need more days where people lay in a field drinking beer or wine, just looking at the clouds and looking at the stars. We need a lay in a blanket, be an adult, drink some alcohol, look at the clouds, look at the stars with good friends, or alone, and ponder, or maybe not. But what if stars create stars and stars never die? I keep going up, but I never get high. What if stars give birth to the stars in the sky? I keep going up, why don't I get high? Waiting for the sun. I gotta tell you, man, times I feel like a sun scientist. Not even a pseudo-sun scientist, like a professional. In the year and a half of Thor News, I've covered the sun early and often, and even late. Anomalies, filaments, X-class flares, M-class flares, strange objects in the frame. Whatever, man. 